Historic Castles of Ireland Kilkenny Castle is a medieval fortress that has been standing proud in the heart of Kilkenny City for over 800 years. It's a must-see for any visitor to Ireland. Kilkenny Castle was built in 1192 by Strongbow, an Anglo-Norman Earl. It was originally a wooden mott and bailey castle, but it was later rebuilt in stone. The castle has seen its fair share of battles and sieges over the centuries, and it even served as a temporary prison during the Irish Civil War. But despite its turbulent past, Kilkenny Castle has always been a symbol of power and prestige. It was home to the Butler family, one of the most powerful families in Ireland, for over 400 years. Trim Castle, a crown jewel of Ireland's history, nestled in the charming town of Trim. Towering over the Boyne River, Trim Castle isn't just a landmark, it's a living testament to the Anglo-Norman conquest of Ireland. Built in 1176 by Hugh de Lacey, it was the first Anglo-Norman stone castle in Ireland, a show of force meant to say, yeah, we're here to stay, and we built castles the size of small towns. But Trim Castle wasn't just about intimidation, it was a masterpiece of medieval engineering with towering defensive walls, a moat so wide you could fit a couple of dragons in it, and a fortified keep that still stands strong today. Blarney Castle. Feeling tongue-tied and eloquence challenged? Well, grab your greenest outfit and flip your world upside down, because we're heading to Blarney Castle, Ireland, where eloquence hangs upside down, and smooching a rock promises the gift of the gab. Forget your regular, upright castles. Blarney Castle is a medieval masterpiece perched on a cliff, defying gravity and logic since 1495. Think towering battlements, hidden dungeons, and enough legends to fill a Guinness pint glass. This castle has seen battles, sieges, and even royal romps. But the real star of the show is the Blarney Stone, tucked away in the castle's highest corner. You gotta bend yourself like a pretzel, dangle like a spider monkey, and plant a big smooch on that mossy rock if you want the legendary gift of the gab. Don't worry, countless presidents, poets, and even Mickey Mouse have done it before you. Legend has it, the Blarney Stone was once part of the Leah File, the coronation stone used by Irish kings. So, by kissing it, you're practically channeling the eloquence of ancient monarchs. Cahir Castle, a bastion of medieval might, Rising majestically above the river Swear, Cahir Castle isn't just a pretty face. Built in 1142 by Connor O'Brien, Prince of Tomond, this behemoth was designed to be unbreachable. Imagine towering 100-foot walls, a moat wide enough to house a small fleet, and enough arrow slits to make any attacker think twice. But Cahir Castle wasn't just a defensive monster. Inside, you'll find grand halls fit for feasts, cozy chambers where nobles once plotted and dreamt, and secret passageways whispering tales of intrigue. Take a step back in time and imagine knights clinking goblets, ladies in flowing gowns gracing the halls, and the echo of laughter bouncing off the ancient stone. Rock of Cashel. Perched atop a 60-meter limestone outcrop, the Rock of Cashel has been a sacred and powerful site for centuries. Legend whispers of mythical giants scaling its slopes and mythical kings being crowned within its walls. From the 5th century, it was the seat of the kings of Munster, a symbol of their authority and a testament to their power. But the Rock of Cashel is more than just a legend. It's a breathtaking tapestry of architectural wonders each telling a chapter in its rich history. Gaze upon the majestic Round Tower, the tallest surviving pre-Romanesque tower in Ireland, its silhouette reaching towards the sky like a silent prayer. Step inside the awe-inspiring Cormac's Chapel, a Romanesque masterpiece bathed in light from intricate stained glass windows. Explore the ruins of the 13th century Gothic Cathedral, its stone arches whispering tales of forgotten prayers and whispered secrets. The Rock of Cashel isn't just a museum of the past. It's a vibrant hub of Irish culture and heritage. Concluding our exploration, we arrive at the grand finale, Dunluce Castle in Northern Ireland. Poised dramatically on the cliffs, this castle stands as one of Ireland's foremost tourist attractions, and rightfully so. 
It exudes an enchanting aura steeped in the rich tapestry of history and legend. Originating in the 13th century under the McQuillan family, Gaelic chieftains of the region, Dunluce Castle began as a modest structure before successive owners expanded it through the ages. Abandoned for over two centuries, the castle succumbed to the relentless march of time. Yet, in the early 20th century, the Guinness family stepped in, acquiring and meticulously restoring it to its former splendor. Today, Dunluce Castle welcomes visitors from around the globe, offering a captivating glimpse into its storied past.